if I have an angle that's 2 pi over 3, right? Remember, the definition of complementary and supplementary angles said that two angles that add up to pi over 2 or two angles that add up to pi. Now, <laughs> pi over 2 is that angle right there, right? Our 90 degree kind of angle. So if you have an angle plus another angle adds up to pi over 2, well, my angle is already greater than pi over 2. So therefore, I do not have a complementary angle. All right, we cannot be dealing with negative angles um, when we're adding for complementary angles. It says what two angles add up to give you pi over 2. Well, if one angle is already larger than pi over 2, you're not going to have complementary angles. All right? Because you can't have negative values um, in your angles. So then we go and deal with supplementary. Well, remember, supplementary is pi equals theta minus theta prime. So we could say theta prime equals, and I'll say theta is 2 pi over 3. So equals pi minus 2 pi over 3. Get common denominators. Theta prime equals 3 pi over 3 minus 2 pi over 3. And you could say theta prime equals pi over 3. And you guys could also look at that and say, all right, if here's 1 pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 3 pi over 3, right? So if here's my angle, what angle do I need to add to 2 pi over 3 to get it to equal to pi? Well, you guys can see that distance is only pi over 3, right? So that's a way you can always just take a look and just double check your answer make sure it makes sense.